Canada's education system's got a wake-up call today, and it means Canadian students, and more importantly, teachers and administrators, have homework to do. The OECD released a highly anticipated report looking at the math skills in 65 international education systems, and Canada did not fare well. The country's position may look fairly high, but we've dropped out of the top 10 and now sit 13th behind the top seven, all from Asia, and the next five, all from Europe. More worrying is Canada's decline seems to be a trend, dropping three spots since 2009 and six spots since 2006, leading one prominent business leader to suggest this is a national emergency. The CBC's Chris Brown is here to break down what it all means. Chris. Peter, a lot of people find math scary, and for many kids, it's not clear why it's a useful skill. And that's a big worry to the people who are trying to make Canada more competitive globally. Critical point. Quick, if a two kilogram rock is dropped down a 1,600 meter deep well, how long will it take to hit the bottom? That's the brain teaser for today in Mr. Matalozo's calculus class. A lot of people just tend to think of math as hard, because, but just consider it like a different language. And then uh, if you practice, you'll get uh, really good at it. I try to tell the students that, you know, even if you may not use this uh, in your regular day life or maybe never, what we're trying to do is we're trying to give you uh, the ability to solve problems. Educators are unanimous that better math skills create more confident thinkers and that fosters more innovation. And that's why the results of this OECD education survey are such a concern to some. This trend is going the wrong direction. We should be very, very worried. The Program for International Student Assessment tested students in 65 places with an average score set at 500. While Canadian students scored above that in math, the trend line is heading down and the number of Canadian students at the top with the very best scores has also dropped. You don't need to be a nuclear physicist to need to use mathematics. If you're installing a roof on someone's house or filling it with insulation, you better be able to calculate how, many, how much you need. The province with the most math whizzes is Quebec. The place with the least even below the OECD average is PEI. And while the survey doesn't explain the disparities, different teaching methods and having better qualified teachers are likely part of it. It's not something you just snap your fingers at and have a quick uh, resolution to. It's far from just an academic problem. Managers at this Vancouver pub say they need to watch out for the math deficit. It's a cost of doing business if we don't hire the right people. And a basic math understanding, especially on our, our front end, front of the house staff, our servers, bartenders, if they don't have a basic understanding of math, money's left on the table. While the math trend line is headed down, it's also fair to say that Canada's 13th place ranking stacks up pretty well against some of our major competitors. And as for that teaser question off the top, Peter, that rock headed down the well will hit terminal velocity and reach the bottom in 18.2 seconds. I knew that, sort of, maybe. Thanks, Chris. Chris Brown in Vancouver.